One of the central tasks of architectural drawing is to transfer that three-dimensional information, whether it's an object or space, to a two-dimensional picture plane or piece of paper. What we're going to talk about is called the orthographic projection. Ortho meaning 90 degrees. If I'm looking at this object, I'm looking at the side view of this straight on. If I'm looking at this object from the top straight on, perpendicular. So that is called orthographic projection. The way orthographic projection translates into drawing is called motive view drawing. There are three types of motive view drawing. There's the plan, which again, looking at this thing straight down. So that is the plan view of the object or the space. Looking at from the side is called the elevation. And then third, which is a section, which is imagine that we're cutting through this object and then actually looking through the inside of this object. So motive view drawing consists of plan, elevation, and section. I'm going to do a demo and I'm going to draw this teapot in multi view, meaning plan, elevation, and section. So let's go to the board. So let's unpack that sketch for a minute. There's a lot of things that we can go over. Number one, I chose a very simple object to sketch, but any object, whether it's complex or simple, can be broken down to three forms, a circle, a square or a rectangle, or a triangle. You, if you notice, if you slow down my video, I start off by drawing a rectangle of this shape and then I just tapered it. So every single shape can be broken down into those three simple shapes. Number two, I first sketched the object with a lighter pencil. Those lines are called construction lines. And then I went back afterwards and I used a darker pencil or a darker lead. That's called the finish line. So when you work through a sketch or even drafting, you first use a working line or a construction line. When you're satisfied with all the lines that is on your paper, then you can use your finished pencil to darken the object itself. 